Hi foodies, so this is how we're gonna make our lemon powder or lemon pepper seasoning. Uh, here I have my lemons. I give them a good wash and you're gonna get your vegetable peeler and you're gonna give them a good peel, just like so. Take all these lovely skin out that is so filled with lemon oil on the skin. You're not taking too much of the whiter part. This is a very pungent, bitter part of the skin. We're not using that. And you give all a good peel just like so now if you have a dehydrator it's fine i do not i'm doing my own the natural way so you peel all of them and you will get your peels looking like this it smells divine and after four days it's going to be looking like this crunchy they all shriveled up very hard you see so naturally this was drying on its own. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to get all of them drying really lovely. And then we're going to powder them. Okay, foodies. So here I have my lemon peel. I give it a good two weeks. Let it dry naturally on its own. And in here, I just put just some black peppercorns. So we're going to be making our lemon pepper powder. I'm not going to be adding any salt to it because we all manage our salt differently. So here I have my, you could add any, any amount of black pepper or peppercorns as you like to flavor your, to flavor up your um, lemon pepper. So in here, in my coffee grinder, I'm going to put it in. I've added some already, just giving it a little trial. And you just give it a good little, a good little zap, but you're going to go slowly at a time. We're going to be zapping away until we get a nice powder. So let's just take a look and see how it's coming together. You see it's all breaking down already really nicely. So maybe the big ones are to give it a little problem. We could take them out and then we're going to continue again with it. So let me finish this up. So here I have my bowl and my sieve or strainer. And what I want to do, I want to pour this out. Wow, it smells awesome. You see how much is in there? We're not going to lose that. We're going to use all of that. So what we're going to do, we're going to give it a good sieve. Because this has to be very powdered. This is what you're going to be using in your meats, in your fish, um, to season up seafoods, any, anything. You could use this for anything. So this now, we're not going to discard it. We're going to add it back. I just want to show to you, and this smells so marvelous. You see how powdered that is, please? Look at that. Let me show that to you. You see that, how lovely? That is as pure and as natural and as organic it gets. So I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna leave this in here now and let's continue zapping away until we powdered all of them. You know, here at Jenny's Walk, we had to learn, we had to share, we had to create. So let's finish up. So for these, now that I'm all done with the lemon, let's now get started with the peppercorns or black pepper, same process, put it in and give it a good zap. So let me finish up so let's take a look in here now so this wasn't as difficult as the look at that really fine and nice i am not going to pass this through the sieve <coughs> and it's <clears throat> just be careful it's already getting up into my nose so there we go just mix it in i'm not going to sieve it because it's black pepper it's supposed to be really lovely it smells divine and then you give it a good mix there you go your lemon black pepper all powdered and beautiful <clears throat> it's all ready my dear foodies to add to your meats for seasoning and if you wish to just do the lemon pep the lemon skin only that could be used in baking just the powdered of the lemon this is marvelous Another quick and easy here from Jenny's walk don't forget to like and share this lovely simple recipe to make your own organic 
uh, lemon and black pepper powder. Great for cooking, great for marinating your meats, to add into any vegetable dish, meat dish, uh, barbecue, whatever you like, just add it on. Great idea here from Jenny Zwa. So don't forget to like and share this lovely video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me from my kitchen to your kitchen. Happy cooking.